got to get up. I'm joined by X Factor stylist Frankie. How are you, Frankie? I'm good, thank you. Can you talk me through your typical day? How does it work? What we do, we have a creative meeting where we all sit together with the creative directors of the show and the producers. We all sit around a table together and the creative directors give us a so, sort of song by song breakdown of how the show's going to look. And then from that, that's where I then come up with the ideas of what the contestant's going to be wearing. What I do has to fit together with the video screens, with the choreography. I need to know if they're dancing, if they're walking down a staircase. And that all gets discussed in that meeting. And then from then we start sort of putting a rail together of ideas. And then on a Friday we fit the contestants. We try things on and we try things in front of the camera. So has their song choices affected how you'd style them then? Oh yeah absolutely because their whole performance is based on what the song choice is. You have so many real individual personalities how do you style them according to one general theme? We have the overriding theme that we're kind of considering all the time but by the time we're actually trying the clothes on we've kind of forgotten about that side of it really anyway and it's much more important that we're dressing the contestant to be a true representation of them and where they are in the competition and how they are, like what type of pop star we're kind of evolving them into. Although it's important for me that the contestants like what they're wearing, um, there's other opinions as well that I'm taking into, into account. When you watch The X Factor Live, do you actually get to enjoy it or are you just looking no, at all the style? All, not at all. I'm backstage, so my team are around in the green room get, making sure that everyone's in their outfit and it's all steamed and everyone's looking perfect. And they bring the contestant as it's just before their performance. They bring them around to me. I'm backstage. So I have, the I have a head torch and I basically check them over just before they go on stage. So how do you strike the balance of keeping it on trend, keeping it individual? What are the kind of thought processes behind it? Like whenever I'm styling people, I don't worry too much about what the trend is at the moment because really if the public's already kind of conscious of that trend, it's a bit past it for us really. Like we shouldn't be following what the trends are that are already there. So how much do the judges have a say over the outfits? Can they yay or nay? Oh, the absolutely. outfits. Yeah, I mean, they get a say in everything. All the judges see the outfits during dress rehearsals and run-throughs, so at any moment I might get a text from someone saying, oh, could we get rid of the tie or could we change, try and change the shirt or whatever. So far, uh, everyone's been, uh, like, fine, but, you know, there's always possibly a moment when a judge will be like, no, I hate the outfit, we need to change it. Hasn't happened yet on this series, but... How much do you look at social media um, with your job? So let's say, for example, Kings and Road wear something that everyone slates on Twitter or Instagram would yeah. you think oh I better change their look up or do you just kind of no. trust your own judgment? We look at social media more than anything because I tweet the credits of what people are wearing as they go on stage so if people are following me on Twitter they can see as soon as they see you know Nicholas come on stage they'll see where his jacket's from they'll see where his shirt's from and that creates quite a nice communication sometimes. And what's your Twitter handle? at Frank underscore Strachan. Are there any contestants that are easier to style than others, perhaps ones that have a real solid like, sense of fashion identity already? It's a bit of a double-edged sword because sometimes if someone's got a really clear idea of what, who they are and what they like and how they dress, it can make it easier because you're working within the realm of that. Sometimes it makes it harder because if you're trying to slightly change it and adapt it to make it interesting for the show each week and to work within the theme or within the performance, it might be harder to take that person there because they've already got a sense of who they should be. So who would you say then, if you had to name someone, who's the easiest person to dress? I think that, like, Rough Copy have got a really clear idea of who they are and they look brilliant anyway, so we're kind of working with what they already were and trying to sort of polish it up for a Saturday night audience. I think with Tamira, she could kind of put anything on and look amazing. So to actually develop her into exactly the type of performer that she is to make her different to everyone else. That's where the difficulty is really. Well, I know it's a very busy Saturday, so I'm going to let you go and do your I know, thing. I'm enjoying this. I don't want to go back to work. Well, do you want to do you want to do my job and I'll go style yeah, all the contestants? Totally, okay, we'll swap. So I'll leave job. you here I'll and here. I'll, I'll go style the someone. contestants. Cool. <laughs>